Hi, I'm Bob from Plastic Pipe Shop and I'm just going to explain really briefly what might be causing your PVC pipe after a pump to melt or look warped or bent or even for the, for the threads to have popped out if it's a threaded connection on your pump. We've had quite a few photos and queries sent to us over the years where people have come upon their pump, uh, maybe their alarms have gone off or something and they found that the PVC pipe coming out of their pump is all bent and twisted or sometimes even the threads have popped out if it's a threaded connection on the pump. What's caused that is, usually anyway, is the pump has been allowed to run dry. Okay, now when a pump runs dry it's spinning and spinning and spinning, it's generating heat all the time. Okay, um, only small amounts of heat but that heat builds up especially if it's a plastic body pump because the plastic acts as a good insulator the heat builds up and builds up and builds up and your PVC pipe which is connected onto the pump usually has a lower melting point than the body of the pump itself it might, which might be polypropylene or ABS plastic instead. So what happens is as the air inside the pump gets hotter hot air rises so invariably it's that outlet at the top of the pump which starts to melt first but also the inlet from the pump can as well. So the air can quite easily get to 60, 70, 80, 90, even over 100 degrees centigrade, 212 Fahrenheit. And if there's any stress or strains on the pipe it'll just start to fall over, it'll start to melt and it looks really odd when you turn up in the morning and uh, or in the afternoon if you've left your pump all morning and then find your pipe all warped as if it has been melted. It can also happen even if there's water in the pump. The water can actually get superheated in the pump and can get easily up to 100 degrees in the pump. Um, if there's valves turned off and the pump is just left turning around and turning around, the water's got nowhere to go. And again, that pump is going to create heat. We're putting energy into the water to try and drive that water out of the pump. That energy's got to go somewhere so it ends up coming out as heat. And again, we can, we can have the result that our pipe starts to go soft we can often get away with it if it's water on dry running but if there are any forces on the pipe um, which are just pulling the pipe one way or pulling the pipe the other way maybe you've put your pump down and your pipe is nicely coming out your pump and the way you've had to clip it you've had to strain the pipe a little bit to clip it if there's anything like that going on at all the moment that pipe starts to go soft the pipe is going to start to twist and warp incidentally if you had that there's nothing to do but to renew the pipe going into your pump and chances are if your pump's been dry running or it's got up to those kind of temperatures the bearings on your pump are going to be knackered as well so you need to change those or replace the pump. I hope that's maybe clarified why your PVC pipe is looking all melty and horrible around your pump and, uh, and you managed to get it sorted out. Thanks for watching. Bye.